Welcome back to Walk With Ease. I'm Hope Klein with South Dakota State University Extension. Last week, you may recall, we talked about the exercise do's and don'ts, the fit principle, keeping a weekly walking diary, and how to progress your walking plan. This week, we're gonna be talking about stretching, which you may recall is a key component of the five-step walking pattern. On the screen, you'll see a review of the five-step walking pattern. This week, we're going to be focusing on steps two and five, stretching. Today, we're going to discuss four key stretches. The instructions and visuals for these stretches can be found in Appendix B of your Walk With Ease guidebook. You can refer back to that or use this video as a reference to learn and practice these stretches on your own. After each stretch that we demonstrate in this video, feel free to pause and try the stretch on your own or practice along with us as the video plays. But before we jump in, I do want to talk about a few reminders. If you have trouble with balance, please do the seated versions of the stretches instead of the standing version. There are standing and seated versions of most stretches and we will review both versions in this video. When you stretch, stretch gently and smoothly until you feel tension and hold for approximately 30 seconds. You never want to bounce when you stretch as this could result in overstretching and ultimately lead to injury. As a general guide, your warm-up stretches should be around 20 to 30 seconds. At the end of the exercise, after your cool down, you will stretch for longer. Around 30 to 45 seconds is appropriate. It's important to remember that the point of tension will be unique for everyone. One person may not be able to stretch very deeply, while others are able to stretch much deeper. If you find that you aren't able to hold the stretch for the full amount of time, you can come out of it and then ease back into the stretch. And the last reminder, do not hold your breath during any of the stretches. There are four key stretches in the Walk With Ease program. First is the straight leg calf stretch, then the hamstring stretch, third, the hip flexor and quadricep stretch, and lastly, the iliotibial band stretch. In today's session, we will introduce each of these stretches and show videos from the Arthritis Foundation demonstrating each movement. First, we're going to show you the straight leg calf stretch. Gently lean against a wall, tree, or chair for support. Keep your head up and spine straight. Keep your feet about hip width apart. Place right foot back and keep toes facing forward. Slightly bend the knee of the left leg, bringing it no further forward than your toes. Press the heel of your right foot toward the ground until you feel a stretch down the back of your calf. Hold for 30 seconds and then repeat with the other leg. Next, we have the hamstring stretch. For this exercise, you will need a raised surface, such as a curb or a step. Stand with your feet about hip width apart. Hold on to a supportive railing or a wall if needed. Place your right leg on the slightly raised surface. Keep your hips facing forward. Slowly bend the left knee until feeling a mild tension or stretch on the back of the right thigh. Hold for 30 seconds and then repeat with the other leg. If you have a hard time keeping your balance, the hamstring stretch can also be done from a seated position. Sitting toward the edge of your chair or bench, stretch out your right leg with your toes pointing up. Keep your left foot flat on the ground and press gently on the left thigh with both hands. This keeps you from slumping. Keep the back straight and then gently lean forward from the hips until feeling a stretch in the back of the right thigh. Pull the foot back, pointing the toes up. Participants may feel a stretch by just straightening up their back. Hold for 30 seconds and then repeat with the other leg. 
The hip flexor and quadriceps stretch will stretch the quadriceps, which is the large muscle group on the front of your thigh. We just reviewed the hamstring stretch, which targets the back of the thighs. It's important if we stretch one major muscle group that we also stretch the other so that we're able to stay balanced. The hip flexor leads straight up from the quadriceps. If you put your hand on your thigh and run your hand straight up to your hip, your hip flexor is where your hip and your quadriceps meet. This can be a very tight spot for a lot of folks, especially if you spend a lot of time in a seated position. This area can get very tight, so we need to mobilize it and stretch it. Sit on the side of a stable chair, bench, or other low firm surface. Gently move your right leg straight back and behind you, beside the chair, not under it. Tuck the buttocks tightly under the hips and be sure to sit up straight. You will feel a stretch on the front of your right hip and upper thigh. Hold for 30 seconds, slide to the opposite side of the chair, and repeat with the other leg. The next stretch is the iliotibial band stretch, also known as the IT band. The IT band runs along the outside of the thigh, from just above the hip to just below the knee. This area can also get very tight, especially if you walk a lot or jog or run. Stand up straight beside and about a foot away from the wall with your right side nearest the wall. Keep your knees a little bent. Put your hand on the wall and cross your left leg over, but don't put any weight on it. It's just for balance. All your weight is on your right leg. Use the right arm against the wall for support. Do the bump, pushing your right hip toward the wall until you feel a stretch on the outside of that hip. If you aren't feeling a stretch, come out a little farther from the wall and try again. Don't lean forward. Hold for 30 seconds then turn around and repeat on the other side. In the same position, using the wall for support, cross your right leg in front of your left and do the bump with your left hip until you feel a stretch. Hold it for 30 seconds and then stand up straight again. We hope that you enjoyed seeing these four key stretches. You can also find these stretches in your book. In the email you received this week, there are a few pieces of homework for you to complete. As this week is the halfway point of the program, we also encourage you to do some self-reflection on the progress you have made this far in the program. We're entering the halfway point of the program and we hope that you're able to keep your motivation throughout the remaining three weeks. We hope to see you next week.